Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and this right here is a full sniper gameplay. And I know I haven't shown you guys, I don't think I've ever shown you guys a sniper gameplay on Black Ops. I have got the two videos or so that I put together on Modern Warfare 2. And so what I want to say very quickly is that I took the advice you guys gave me in that last sniping video that I did, and I, and I put it to work here. And so basically, I tried to stay behind cover at the edges of the map-ish, uh, so I can make shots like this at range, where the sniper rifle won't have to get mow, you know, wouldn't get mowed down by guys with assault rifles. And I was being very rare in my surroundings, like that guy died, and I figured somebody was coming around the corner, you know, it's, it's TDM, so I figured someone was, like I said, was coming around the corner, and so I got that quick kill. So you're going to see some things, you're going to see some good shots, you're going to see some bad shots, more often you're going to see some bad shots. Um, there's a couple shots that I'm pretty proud of. There's one kneecap kill, which I think is kind of funny, but it, you know, it's all part of the beefed up sniper rifles now. So uh, don't expect to see this very often because it's definitely not my forte. Uh, <laughs> here comes my kneecap kill. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I did have a lot of fun doing this. I felt very comfortable after a few kills. I'm like, wow, okay, I, I kind of have the hang of this, you know? Uh, but for the most part, I'm still very uncomfortable with sniper rifles. I'm not, it's not going to be something I do very often. And I think now that Black Ops' lifespan is, is close to being over, it's something that I want to do to challenge myself, because I'm not, I'm not going to say that Black Ops is not challenging for me anymore. It's certainly a challenge, especially when the connections go apeshit. But it's at that point where I know the maps, I, I know the levels, I know the spawns, you know, I know how to spawn trap, I know how to do certain things, and especially I know how to handle myself with an assault rifle. And so the one thing that I've never been good at is sniper rifles. So I figured, what the hell, I think I'll start to work on this a little bit more. I'm definitely not going to become a quick scoping master, and I still feel very uneasy at the controls of a sniper rifle, so don't expect, you know, you'll, you'll expect a lot of that kind of stuff from me missing. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to, about something else real quick, because I know you guys have probably seen great sniper gameplay all over the place, but how many times have you seen an assisted suicide? Hmm, not very many. This is my favorite shot. I'm quite proud of that shot. And you can definitely tell there's some serious lag going on, because some of these, these hit detections is just it's crazy. So, But for me, my summer's almost over. Here it is, what is today, Friday? Uh, I start school on Monday, and... Um, I, I can tell you the, uh, two things. Uh, one, I'm really looking forward to it because I'm going into my senior year. I've got two semesters left and I should be graduating with my BA in history. And then on the other hand, you know what? I didn't get much of a break this this summer. Oh, here's my awesome. Look at that. Not even close, Tony. But this summer, I didn't get much of a break just because I, I had two sessions of summer school and I passed both classes. Got an A and a B. Um, the B came in this lit class. I, I just uh, I just wasn't really into that class from the get-go. Dude, that guy walked right into my scope. You see that? Right into the sights. So anyways, yeah. So I got six more units under my belt from the summertime. And uh, I think this semester I'm taking 16 units. And the next semester I think I have to take 15 units to graduate in May. Or else then I'll have to graduate uh, like, like in the summertime. So I'm going to try to knock that thing out. This, that thing being the BA. I'm going to try to knock it out by May. I'd love to be graduated by May. And then perhaps starting... A master's program in the fall. We'll see. Well, I don't know exactly how my like my life plan is going to take me, uh, or where it's going to take me. It's going to have a, it's a big question mark. I actually, I'll be honest. I went in to pick up my paycheck on Monday, and uh, and I had some running around to do for school, um, just you know some regular stuff that I had to do. Uh, anyways, my boss is like, oh yeah, so you know we got to talk about. He's going to get into a master's program pretty soon, so we got to talk about school and stuff. And I was, and he asked me how long I had left, and I said two semesters. And he's like, well, what are you going to do after that? And I got hit by that whole, well, what's next thing, you know? And look at he's Mr. Uh, free Headshot right there. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I got hit with that whole, like, what are you going to do next? And I, I kind of drew a blank, you know, because it's the same sort of feeling you get when someone asks you, well, what's your major? You know, what are you going to major in? What do you want to be when you get older? And, uh, and even at 28, you know, here I'm getting ready to finish my, my bachelor's degree. I thought that should have been a hit, by the way. Uh, just, I'm getting ready to finish my bachelor's degree. I'm still sort of perplexed with that whole, what do I want to do? Because, to be honest, with a bachelor's degree, there are other options that open up. If you don't have... That guy's... He scared the crap out of me. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, you've got certain... I, don't, I want to call them entry-level jobs. You've got, like, law enforcement, 
Um, you've got uh, like postal worker. I mean, these are like career types if you want to do that. I mean, but there's all sorts of like careers you could work like UPS or I don't know. You can be a mechanic. You know, the, even though that requires a lot of schooling now, a fair amount of schooling. The point is, is that even with the bachelor's degree, the world is opened up. I mean, you could work, you know, you could be a teacher, or you could be working in the corporate world, you can, um, you can work for the federal government. It's usually a prerequisite for any sort of federal agency is to have a bachelor's degree. So suddenly, I mean, you know, you think that, oh, I got the bachelor's degree in history, I know exactly what I want to do with it. That even is a little open to interpretation. So I had a few things in mind. One of them was a program called Teach for America. I, I found out about it a little too late, and so the the um, application deadline came and went. And I was, and it was one of those things where I wasn't prepared for it because I had found out about it late. Because you need to have you know this like 500 letter or five yeah 500 word letter of intent written plus a resume, and it had to be in by a certain day and time. And I had pretty much a few days to work on it. And with work and, and everything, oh, check this out. Talk about getting out played, watch this. Oh, yeah. That was actually pretty cool. I was pretty proud of myself for that. But with all the stuff that I had to get done, uh, I, j I didn't get it done in time. And so I, I think I have to wait till the fall to apply again. Basically, it's like a, a Peace Corps for teaching, but it's in America. So one of the program areas that I was really interested in is Boston. So I think what I'm going to do is wait till the fall. And depending on what I do with myself, I mean, if I'm in a master's program, then I definitely am going to go in and, and complete the master's program before doing anything else. And at which point, then I'll, I'll have um, that aspect of my life taken care of, because then it'll be, uh, it'll be at, you know, teaching at a community college level, at least, or trying to get a job there. So we'll see. I don't know how it's got into a commentary about me and my summer and, and what's been going on, but a couple other things I want to talk about. I got a pop stopper. I don't know if you guys know what a pop stopper is. But it's basically, it's a little mesh that goes in front of the microphone, and um, it, it makes the P's and B's, does it, it doesn't like pick up, up as like, you know, like loud pops in the microphone, so it's pretty cool. I, I feel excited. It makes me want to like get into podcasts again, because I feel like a DJ or something right now. But uh, anyways, guys, this video is getting ready to wrap up here. Um, you guys can leave me feedback on sniping if you want. Let me know how I did this time compared to last time. I think I did better. I just had some bad luck in some certain situations. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll talk to you later.